again, everybody. I'll make this video short and simple. I just want to take this opportunity to tell everybody out there, let everybody out there know that if you're a, if you're the kind of person that cheats the system, lies for your own advantage, not caring who else in the world it affects, you got to be proud of yourself. Job well done. Because you screwed the rest of us. If you're a lazy ass that wants to mooch off the system and blame everybody else for your shortcomings, it's time for you to take a long, hard look in a mirror and see yourself for who you really are and get off your butts and get out and get a job like the rest of corporate America. My reason for this video is this. If any of you have watched my have watched my recent videos, you know that my wife and I are having some insurance issues. And my son had to quit his job as, as a result of it thanks to the Affordable Health Care Act. And beyond all that, You know, my wife and I have said before we make too much money to afford insurance, but we make, don't make enough money, excuse me, I'm backwards. We don't make enough money to be able to afford our, our own insurance, but we make too much money, according to the state, to get any kind of assistance, which is why my son had to quit his job. However, to get insurance, I'm having to jump through a bunch of flaming hoops to get documentation turned in, a bunch of red tape bullcrap, and yesterday... I got my butt sheet out by somebody at a social services office here where I live and told me that I'm the king of excuses because I should have had all my stuff turned in. Well, what I couldn't get this woman to understand is, what I, is that I had. The only thing that had not been turned in had been my son's verifications. And I've been fighting for two weeks with the corporate office of where he works to find out where this documentation went that was supposed to have gotten turned in. And they went back and forth, well, we don't have it, we don't know what happened to it. The one lady said she swore she sent it in. The corporate office said they've never seen it. Well, after getting my butt shoot out yesterday, because I'm apparently a lazy piece of crap who... Um, doesn't want to get his stuff done in time and make excuses, I called the office back and I chewed him a new butthole and told him my situation and said, you better find this paperwork one way or another kind of a thing. Well, the one lady I spoke to spent the afternoon looking and oh, lo and behold, she found it. And she sent all the documentation into the local office here where I live with a note saying, we are sorry this was not Mr. Klingler's fault. We've had this for three weeks. His company had the documentation we needed for our insurance that I turned in a month ago for three weeks. And that's the whole reason that we lost our benefits because we didn't get our stuff turned in time. And I was told yesterday that it was my fault. Well, I get where the social worker's coming from. I do. I'm not mad at her at all. <clears throat> because there are so many people in this country who use the system against what it's supposed to be used for, for their own benefits, and don't want to get jobs, and do make excuses, and do a lot of the system. These people deal with you so much every day that they just automatically assume that we're all like that. If we're looking to get assistance and benefits, we must be just like you, the rest of you. Well, I got news for you. We're not like the rest of you. There are people out there that are hardworking Americans that are trying to do right for their family and work their butts off at the same time. And because of people like you out there that want to lie and cheat the system, for your own self-gratifications, shame on you. Shame on you. 
Have a good day. God bless everybody.